Here in the laboratories of um, clinical radiopharmacy, we work on detecting, imaging and treating disease tissues. Disease tissues like cancers and inflammation. And the first step to get there is to ask the question, how are these tissues different than physiological tissues? Is there a molecule that's overexpressed in these tissues? And if we find such a molecule, then the next question is, which trace or which molecule can we design to bind there and to bind only in the diseased tissues? And then we aim to design these molecules and to radio label them. And once they're radio labeled, we can follow them machines where we can trace radioactive molecules within biological systems. So once we get to this radioactive molecule, we first test them in cells. We test them, do these molecules bind to, uh, to the structures that they were targeted to? Um, are these molecules toxic to cells? Do they get internalized and can we really detect them then afterwards? And if these tests in cells are successful, then the next step is to bring these molecules into animals. We inject them into animals and we can follow with the radioactivity these molecules within, within the animals. And if these animal tests are successful, then the next step is to bring these radioactive molecules into humans. So we perform human studies, inject them and see can the human body tolerate these molecules and can these molecules really be accumulated in diseased tissues and can we detect cancers, can we detect inflammation with these molecules. The very last step is if the detection works is that we can change the radioactivity from an imaging radioisotope to a treatment radioisotope and we can then treat these diseased tissues. The overall aim of our research is to improve detection and treatment of basically various diseases.